Today we are going to talk about how to wax your skis the no-nonsense way. So first thing you need to do, out of three steps really, is you need to find your kick zone. And that's really simple. Basically you want to find your uh, center point on your ski, so that's going to be where your toe clicks into the binding. So I've got these DinaFit toe pieces on mine. Uh, you can also use a normal like triple N boot uh, or triple N binding like this one uh, to find it. So basically it's going to be from the back of your heel on your boot to about that equal distance in front of your boot. So it's going to be about this big. And generally if I'm going to be on a trail, I'm going to keep it pretty narrow, like this much. Uh, if I'm going to be going in the backcountry, which is what I really like to do, I'll probably extend the kick zone maybe just a little bit further. So about to like this distance as opposed to like this much right here. So that's what you're going to want to look for for your kick zone. All right, so that's the first step. Okay, so the second step of the process is to pick out a wax for the uh, ski. So you need a, it's based on temperature and you wanna pick out the wax that is going to match whatever temperature you're gonna be skiing in. So if it is, say, right at freezing, you're probably gonna use this purple wax right here. And you can see that that is good to, or like around zero to minus three Celsius. Um, so right around freezing is what I would probably use purple for. Red is anything above freezing. Uh, it's the stickiest wax and so grips the more rounded grains of snow a lot better. So the warmer the wax rating, the stickier, gooier it's going to be. And the colder the wax, the uh, less sticky and more like a candle type wax it'll be. So this guy right here is rated to negative 22. I used to live in the Arctic and I would ski down to about negative 35 was the coldest I would ski. <laughs> any, any more than that, it's you can't really see in front of your eyelashes because there's too much ice build up. But anyways, uh, with this one, it says graded down to net minus 22, but if you go skiing beneath, I would say, minus 15 Fahrenheit, the snow crystals are actually so faceted, so angular, that they're just gonna scrape off any wax at all. So you don't even need a wax then. Your, your ski will be pretty grippy. But if you're going out in minus 15, fist bump to you. If not, uh, in, in anything else that's, you know, zero on up, a lot of people say, well, you can use one that's in between blue and extreme cold, yeah, you can, but you can also just use blue. Um, so this is the next less sticky and so on down the line. So I would use this up to about, eh, maybe about 30 degrees. I would use this 30 Fahrenheit and then I'm good to go. So today I'm just going to put on some, uh, let's see, it's about 32 out. So I'll probably just put this purple wax on. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've found uh, my kick zone. I selected the correct wax, and now I'm going to wax that kick zone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this purple wax that I have here, and you can see it's kind of sticky, um, and it has this metal portion right here that you have to peel off. So when you do that, so use your fingernail, and a lot of them now will have a little tab on the edge right here that you can use to poke into the wax just a little bit on the side here, and then you can kind of torque it and get a little tear maybe. So. All right, so then you can peel off the wax, the rind off, and then you're ready to go. But when, when you're done, when you pull that metal part off, be sure to throw it away. Don't just toss it in the parking lot. 
All right, so we have our wax and I have my kick zone defined. So I'm going, so I know on this ski, it's gonna be from about right here. So I'll make a mark there. And then it's gonna go all the way to about here to the back of my heel. So you can see I've just marked it right there and right there. So I'm just gonna start waxing that. All right, so you can see right here and right here is my kick zone. So I'm just gonna take this and apply it. Just kind of rubbing it on there nice and lightly back and forth between those two marks, just like that. When you do it, there's gonna be a groove in the center portion right here. Try and avoid waxing that center groove, just on the sides. So you wanna see a line going down the center. <clears throat> okay, so we've done that. Now we can move on to the last step, which is corking it. So you're gonna just basically rub this into the face. Okay, last step, we're going to now use the cork. So in my case, I'm gonna use the cork styrofoam that came with my kit. Uh, but you can also, in a pinch, you can just use your glove if you really want to, but I would try to use this so you don't get wax on everything, especially on the stickier waxes. So all you're gonna do is just press it in there like this, rubbing it back and forth. Just like that. And once you see it starting to rub in there and starting to disappear, then you know it's starting to rub in. It doesn't have to be perfectly black. Like for example, my base is completely black, but uh, you can still see a little wax there. That's okay. You just wanna make sure that it's rubbed in. And then once you do that, you're all set. So that's the basics of waxing. Okay, so some final tips. If you are having some slippage and you're just not getting enough kick, what you can do, once again, is you can extend the kick zone. So instead of being from here to here with wax, you can just add a little bit more. And if you think you just got the temperature wrong, just go up to the next stickiest wax. And this wax too, it'll last, it depends on the conditions, but you know, I've skied wax for 20 plus miles in a lot of cases. If the snow surface is pretty icy, then it might be more like, you know, a couple miles or so you might have to reapply. So it's pretty condition dependent, but wax skiing is just so much better, so much faster, so much more fluid and fun than, uh, than the other alternative. So hope this helps you and happy skiing.